What's the future of the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is New Jersey State Senator Jim Whalen. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having us. This was an initiative signed by 10 states, put in place several years ago. What was the idea behind the initiative and what's the future of it now that New Jersey's pulled out? Well, the idea was to address the problem that we have with greenhouse gas. Um, you know, coal-fired coal uh, energy plants uh, is one, but across the board. Uh, and the northeast states, primarily New England and mid-Atlantic states, with the exception of Pennsylvania, which is so heavily reliant on coal, uh, all agreed that we would have this regional greenhouse gas initiative where money is generated from, from the uh, coal burners and the others who are putting these emissions out. They, they pay. Uh, those dollars would then be available to support green energy. I was disappointed when the governor pulled out of New Jersey, and I'm supporting efforts in the legislature to get us back in, I think for two reasons. One, I think from the perspective first of, of the issue itself, um, uh, you know, we just can't continue to burn fossil fuels, uh, the impact it has on the environment, uh, the reliance that it makes us as a country on, on the Middle East. I mean, I'm not comfortable relying on Saudi Arabia, a country where, Joe, you couldn't drive a car. I mean, that's a feudal monarchy. And we're propping them up because we have to buy our oil from them. Um, so I think that, you know, if for no other reason than that, we should be looking at alternate energy sources. But I also think that uh, from an economic point of view, if we're going to recapture a manufacturing base in this country, uh, the opportunity to do that is there through alternate energy. China spends 10 times more than we do on alternate energy. Um, you know, we, we have a successful solar energy initiative in this state. We're the second state in the country after California in terms of implementation of solar. That's great. We're buying our solar panels by and large from China. They're manufactured in China. We used to have a glass industry in South Jersey, Glassboro, you know. Um, we should be re-energizing those plants. Some of them are still open, but they're scaled down from what they were, re-energizing those plants giving them the financial support to make the conversion so that they can become the manufacturers of solar panel. Same thing, I think, with regard to um, the windmills. Uh, we used to have a lot of boat building, uh, particularly in, in Atlanta County. Many of those plants have shut down or reduced their workforce. Um, they worked with fiberglass. They built motors. Those are the ingredients of a windmill. So I think the opportunity to restore a manufacturing base and to catch up. We are behind China. We are behind Germany. Um, and as I said before, right now we buy our energy from Saudi Arabia. We keep doing this. 20 years from now, we'll be buying our energy from China, from Germany, possibly from Brazil, who's ahead of us in biofuels and so on. But is re-entering Reggie a way to do that? Part of the argument had been that the cost uh, savings hadn't been realized as being a part of this initiative. Well, again, I, number one, I don't think we have time. Number two, I don't think the, the dollars were really uh, directed in the right way. I, I would like to see you know, the job creation that we just talked about. Um, take the dollars, it was 65 million the last year we were in Reggie. Take some of that money, maybe not all of it, but take some of that money and direct it to supporting um, a reemergence a re of, of manufacturing things. We used to make things in this country. We're not making anything anymore. And you can't sustain your economy long term if it's just, you're just churning capital. You have to have product. Uh, and our product right now for solar, for wind and so on is being imported, as I say, from China and other places. So um, I, I think it's in our long-term economic interest to re-energize and make those products here. It helps the environment. It's good policy on both fronts. Uh, I would hope the governor would reconsider, and we're going to do what we can in the legislature to see if we can uh, convince him to do that. And just a few seconds left, but are there steps that the legislature can take in well, order there, to re-enter Reggie? There are a number of bills that are in that I'm supporting and one of the sponsors of that uh, Senator Smith and Assemblyman Chevacula. Uh, have sponsored uh, to get us back into uh, the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative. Thanks so much. Thank you. We've been talking with New Jersey State Senator Jim Whalen. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.